Hello, hello. Today we're going to learn about um, a command called CV disk performance. So the reason for disk performance is, let's say your comm serve, say your restore or your backup is running really slow. So this is a command you can use to just find out like what what are why why is it so slow, right? On on a drive now, mind you. This is going to tell you if, like, for instance, your storage policy is on a server or um, a hard drive or whatever. This is going to tell you that particular hard drive, why it's, what's going on with it. So in this case, I don't have another drive. So I'm just going to use my C drive, which is uh, almost two terabyte, which is my com serve is on. So I'm just going to do disk performance on it. So the command, so you're going to find it out. If you go to local uh, program files, Commvault, content store, under the base folder. And so I've opened up the disk drive or the disk IO basically. Now, obviously I don't have any backups running, right? So it's not gonna really do anything. But if you did even have like, uh, what is it? CVD, I think is the command or the process. And down here you would see like what drive it's running off of basically. Anyway, to find the CV disk performance, right? You're under base folder, and then just type in CV, CV disk. CV disk. There it is right there. CV disk performance. Where is it at? Right here. Yeah, this command. Anyway, so how do you get to it, right? Obviously, you go program files, com vault, content store, base. CV disk perf performance. And uh, you just do dash path. And then, so the path is basically where you're going to put the file at. Is maybe, I just created a folder here called disk performance. And in it, I just do like that. So it's there. And happy, happy. All as well. Anyway, so when I push this, I'm going to execute it. What's going to happen is it's going to, so right now there's no data in this this cell folder here. So let's push enter. And then it's going to create like, you know, a folder basically. It's going to fill it up or whatever. Not fill it up. It's going to create some files and things like that. Now I didn't specify the any data, how much, you know, the amount, all that stuff. I just let it default. So that seems to be well. Anyway, well, it's going to like throw out like a, a couple of different data points like um, disk speed and all that stuff. We'll let it run until it's going to run maybe like five minutes, something like that. So we'll come back when it's, uh, when it's done. We'll talk about it a little bit. Now that our, okay, so our data point's been done. So what do we have here, right? So it created a folder called uh, cbperf and then disk. It's not there anymore. It deleted it, right? Because it took it and then deleted it. Anyway, so it had, uh, this is a version number. Uh, create new random read write block size is a default block size block size default block count is default file read thread count six total bytes read written deleted because it deleted it the time 35 seconds uh, okay so here we go here's what you're looking at right here so this is really important so this information here this is really the, the really the uh what you're looking for so per thread throughput okay so this is pretty good actually 600 gig an hour is really good so that's your throughput that's a create then you have your write. so when you do like a um what do you call it like a restore or a backup right right anyway let's say let's say restore so you have three options you have like your read your write and your network right Okay, and network doesn't look like it's here. I don't see network. Well, maybe it's there. Anyway, so you have your crate, which is your 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 read and your write, basically. Uh, this is your read. Um, it's it's not very good, actually. To be honest with you. Um, and then your write. So your network speed, your network percentage, or the speed should be the the highest, right? So, oh, sorry, throughput create. Anyway, this is not a good number. This is a good number, and this is a good number. 600 gig an hour is really good. 
anyway, um, so, you know, this is, it's going to vary by drive. When you're in, only do this in the drive that you're backing up to, because, you know, you're, you're backing up or you're restoring to a drive, let's say, from a drive, and you want to find out what the information is from that drive. Why is it slow? What's going on, right? Let's deal with that, right? And this is the tool really to run it. This is one step, of course. I mean, there's multiple things you can do, but this is just to rule out your performance of your disk itself, okay? Keep that in mind. But anyway, like I said, these are pretty good numbers. 600 is pretty good per hour. It's pretty good. Anyway, um, thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next one.